In this video we'll be looking at expanding double brackets. Now if you haven't watched my previous video on expanding single brackets, I recommend watching that first as we explain a lot of the foundations to this in that video. So here we have three examples, each of which are slightly different scenarios you might get in your GCSE exams. So first off we have the basic one, we just have a singular x at the start of each bracket. We have only positive numbers which obviously makes it a lot easier. So let's have a look at how we would do this. So again, as I said, in my expanding single brackets video, we talked about the claw method. So the claw method involves taking one number and almost joining it to the other two. However, this time we have to do that, but twice in a double claw. So we've done the x to the x and the x to the 5. Now we must do the 3 to the x and the 3 to the 5. And from there, we must simply multiply those claws and eventually add them or subtract them together. In this case, it will only be addition because we only have positive numbers. So first of all, this first claw here, x multiplied by x. Now, we've learned this in the simplifying algebra video. When we have two x's that we're multiplying together, this becomes x squared. So that is the first part done. Now the second claw, x multiplied by a positive 5, so this would simply be add 5x. Okay, so the top claw is done now. We have to do the second claw, 3 multiplied by x, and again that is a positive 3. It is always important to check that. So 3 multiplied by x, again we have a plus 3x there. And finally, we have this 3 times by 5. Again, both positive numbers. So 3 multiplied by 5 gives us a positive 15. Now, you may notice that these two numbers here, we can actually simplify these down a little bit more. So 5x plus 3x gives us 8x. Now, we would write this as our final answer. So x squared plus 8x plus 15. Now, a lot of people see these letters and get confused. Now, instead of the x's, imagine they are just apples. So you've got five apples and you've got three apples. Now, together, that would simply be eight apples. And if you put the x back in where the apples are, you've got eight x. So imagine it's just like an object. That's often a lot easier to think about. But yeah, this would be our final answer for that question. A lot of the times you will need to simplify it. They might not necessarily say it, but according to the AQA specification and a lot of the LXL specifications, with algebra especially, they almost expect you to simplify it just because it looks a lot tidier and it wouldn't be nice leaving it in the unsimplified form. Okay, let's go on to question two here. We draw on our claws. So we do the top claw first and the second claw next. So you'll notice the difference this time is we have a negative number. Now, just like in the previous video, in the expanding single brackets, I like to box in my negatives with the number itself. You could also do this with the positives, but it doesn't really have the same effect because the positive doesn't really affect much. Okay, but let's look at it exactly the same again. So, first claw, x multiplied by x. That will give us x squared, just like before. Our second one, we have x multiplied by a negative 6. So minus 6 times by x is going to be minus 6x. Okay, again, we have a positive 4 now multiplied by an x. And that is going to be a plus 4x. And finally, a positive 4 multiplied by a negative 6. So again, we have a positive and a negative. So our answer is going to be a negative. And 4 times 6 gives us 24. And again, a lot of the times you will have this simplification to make. So minus 6x plus 4x. Now, I've described this in my negative numbers video. But imagine our number line. We're starting at the minus 6 here. So if we draw this on, it's going to be about there. And because we're adding, we are going to be moving up the number line, back towards the 0. So 1 two, three, four, and that is actually going to get us to minus two. 
So our final answer, x squared minus 2x minus 24. Okay, and finally, our last question. We have our first claw again, we need to draw these on. So 2x goes to 2x, and the 2x goes to 2. And we have our minus 1, which claws to 2x, and also to 2. Again, I think it's a good idea to box in that sign with the number itself. And we have, first of all, 2x multiplied by 2x. Now we know that x times x gives us x squared. And we also know that 2 times 2 gives us 4. So you can simply do it just like that. So first claw is done. 2x multiplied by a positive 2. So this claw here. So 2 times 2 gives us 4. And then we just have the extra x in there. So top claw is done. Finally onto the bottom claw. This time we have a negative 1 multiplied by a 2x. So again we've got a positive and a negative. So that is going to give us a negative. And 1 multiplied by 2x, simply 2x. Finally, we have the two red boxes multiplied together. So this final claw here. Minus 1 times a positive 2. So again a negative and a positive. We have a negative, and 1 times 2 gives us 2. And finally, if you haven't guessed already, we need to simplify that last one. So the 4x squared is going to stay the same, plus 4x minus 2x. So we start with a positive 4, and we want to take away 2, simply going to be 2x minus 2. And that is our final answer. So as you can see here, we've got three examples, all varying in difficulty. But for expanding double brackets, this is about as hard as it's going to get. You're not really going to be asked to do much more. Thank you for watching, and I hope that helped.